New this morning, if you're looking for a little bit of weekend fun, from what's bound to be a box office hit to an ice rink set to open in just a few hours, there's a lot going on. And guess who knows all about it? Mark S. Allen. He's dressed for some ice skating uh, on a particularly chilly morning in Folsom. Mark. Yeah, it's cold here uh, and it's fitting because the ice rink is opening up. Something you should know if you love the ice rink here in Folsom and who doesn't, it's moved. Now, if you keep in mind, it used to be at the Rotunda, the historic turnaround of the train. That's where you used to find it. If you look, you see nothing there. You might think they're not even having the ice rink, but oh no, it still takes place just down there. All right, let's also talk about the movie you mentioned. Wakanda Forever, the sequel to Black Panther now playing in theaters everywhere. It is going to be the highest grossing movie of the year. We talked about its local connection, that of course being Ryan Coogler and the passing of Chadwick Boseman and beyond. Take a look. From Sac State alum director Ryan Coogler, it's undoubtedly the most anticipated movie of the year, and it's here. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is out. Ariana of Sacramento was the first out of the first screening last night, said she's been mourning the loss of Chadwick Boseman, but also looking forward to this for a long time. When the trailer came out, I cried. Um, it was a beautiful tribute at the beginning. I loved it. Um, you know, I think it did a very good job at honoring him. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Nice to see you. So, Mark. Hard to believe it's been almost five years since I sat down with Ryan Coogler to talk about the much anticipated expansion of the Marvel Universe. He said it was great to reunite. It's nothing like the opportunity to, to, to uh, reconnect with people after after so much time has changed. And a lot happened since we released the last film. You know, you had the pandemic and all types of different things that, you know, transpired personally, interpersonally as a society. Uh, so it, it was really heartwarming to get back with, with the same folks and to see how we grow and change. One of Ryan's biggest fans is one of his biggest stars, literally. At six foot five, Winston Duke and I caught up to talk about his director. Ryan Coogler, Sac State grad, we're all very proud of him. How yes. is it working with this guy? Ryan is incredible. So Ryan creates such a, a safe space on set to just do your best work. In a world of superheroes, I'd say his superpower is that he just like relies on the collective artistic conscience. They called him Kukul Khan. Can't wait for you to see this movie. I can't wait to see the numbers. It is going to crush it. It will be the biggest movie of the year. And what Black Panther, the original, did for inclusion of the black uh, community, wait till you see what this also does in expansion for the Latin community. To tell you more would be to plot spoil, so we'll leave it to after you've seen it. So you got that this weekend. You got ice skating this weekend. And today, thank you so much, veterans everywhere. I will be hosting that parade at 11 a.m. at the state capitol, so see you there. Over to you, Walt. Of course you are. You are everywhere. All right, Marcus Allen, uh, ice skating at Folsom and then down to the parade. Mark, thank you for all you do as well.